Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the Pax Britannica, an Imperial Talent mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Ferdinand the Second Level. But the Danish opened fire on peaceful protests. The vile Danish government has been cracking down on various pro German unification protests. The time has come to force their government to cede Schleswig Holstein to us, or else they face war. They have lost the right to rule Holstein, large Jacobin march in Hamburg. Also, if you want to read about threatening the Danish game, please go right ahead. But the harbor of Hamburg is always busy, but recently it's been more busy than it normally is. The Jacobites are marching through the city. They are protesting against the German government and an end of their current type of ruling. They're displeased and will most likely continue the strike for a little while, at least. <clears throat> People have suspected. Others around the country will join the cause in major cities. Or even worse, they gain support from the French Jacobites, French politicians, maybe even the French government. It's all up in the air. And this is about Hamburg and Hanover. So, they're 20, so if we do this, we'll lose political power, but we're okay. If we do this, we'll screw things up, and we'll hold counter marches. We lose political power, but we might actually decrease it by 10, and we do, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, which, I didn't think actually that would work, but whatever. Uh, we've got some comms to go through as well, but after this one, we can do this one. Victory, huh. Oh. Resource efficiency gain, better stability, consumer goods. Resource to market as a transit core. Cool. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. I don't want really to do this one, of course, as well. One of the major de uh, developments that is lacking in a colony is the railway infrastructure. A plan has been proposed to link our various African holdings together through a vast railway network. If completely, if completed, transportation of labor and resources will be a matter of days instead of weeks or months, like we read earlier, but also driven in Europe. At night, when the cr sea cradles me and the pale star gleams lies down on its broad waves, and I free myself wholly from all activity and all the love and the silent and silent, and breathe purely alone, alone, cradled by the sea that lies there, cold and silent, with a thousand lights. Then I have to think of my friends, and my gaze sinks into the gazes, and I ask each one, silent, alone, Are you still mine? Is my sorrow sorrow to you, my death a death? Do you feel uh, for my love, my grief, just a breath, just an echo? And the sea peace peacefully gazes back, silent, and smiles, No, and no greeting, and now answer, no answer comes from anywhere. We have proven our worth on the continent, but we still have many places to go, many places to explore and conquer. We must be very close to victory. We just can't smell it yet. The Danish give up Holstein. The Danish government's wise to acquiesce to our ultimatum and formally ceded the Duchy of Holstein to us. Though an invasion of Denmark would certainly have been a near holiday for the Imperial Armed Forces, we can still be happy that peace has won out and this rifle German land has been returned to us without bloodshed. Already preparations have begun for the integration of Holstein into the federal structure as Danish soldiers give their posts to incoming German garrisons. A formal ceremony to mark this momentous occasion will be held shortly. Another victory for Germany. Nice. I get a lot of political power. Beautiful. French family, though, in Strasbourg attacked. In a new police report from the city of Strasbourg states that a few days ago, a French family was attacked in the city street, in the city on the street of German by, by German nationalists. The family had no uh, political connections inside of Germany or outside of it. When interviewed after the attack, the man stated that they consciously stay put out of politics and don't affiliate themselves with any ideology or part political party. Now, luckily, no one was killed from the family, but one of the sons and the man were both severely injured, but uh, were are able to recover. The police was only managed to capture one of the criminals, but the family stated that there were three in total. The captain one won't talk and will face harsh charges if he doesn't ever open his mouth at all. So this is an Alsace, which sucks. That's 40. Uh, we'll try this one, middle one, and it went up, so we're going to reload the save, but we'll do that in just a little bit, because I want to talk about another one. The Javancore Expedition, maybe. Or we can do this stuff. Revitalize domestic industry. Long-term investment doctrine. I like the long-term investment stuff. Quite a bit, actually. We do lose political power going this way, which does kind of suck. Um, but I kind of want to do revitalize domestic industry. Now that we've decided to do something about our economy, it's important that we choose a new direction from the start. Here's a plan to invest massively into our own industrial sector. We may lose some money doing this, but ultimately we should kickstart the slow recovery and provide jobs for the German people. Criminal Marines take over cruisers in Bremen. An action occurs once more than on the shores of Germany, this time in Bremen. A group of German Marines have stolen a cruiser with several hostages, including the wife of influential Bremen politician Herbert Dosselbach. Unlike, however, unlike a usual hostage, they've not asked for a sum of money or normal type of ransom. Instead, they've asked for the national government to enact several reforms and impose some new laws. These include better wages for Marines and end on the ban of Jacobite parties in all of Germany, better several border changes with France, and much more. If they do not comply and enact the reform and impose the laws within a week and a half, or they will shoot several hostages per day and they delay. The government has only stated that they do not deal with terrorists, but are discuss still discussing the whole endeavor. Except the terms, um, deploy the Razor Maidens, kill these traitors, no restraints. Well, in Hanover, where are we at? Uh, we're at 10. That's actually not bad. We can't go up to 15, though. So, uh, off screen, I'm going to figure out if we can actually do this legitimately not. I'd like to deploy the Razor Maidens, but we'll see in just a little bit. A decrease in poverty. Thanks to our national policies, the country's overall rate of poverty has substantially decreased. Joblessness has been lessened, and the standards of living here have dramatically improved for the lower classes. Slums have begun to gradually empty out, and the crime rate has been impacted substantially by this national shift. The current poverty rate will improve. Great! 
Torch March on Bozen. Also, with the whole thing with Hanover, I decided to take the hit, so we have no uh, unrestor now. It would have been a quiet night in the town of Bozen if it wasn't for the men holding a torch march late into the Friday night. They shouted, yelled, and even some fought the police in the end, however. The police wasn't able to stop them. They let it happen. They worried the situation would slip out of hand if the whole police force assaulted and arrested the marchers. These men aren't marching just to cause a sleepless night, however. They protested because they wanted to end the German dominance in the region. The German government has issued a statement that they do not tolerate this type of behavior. But they aren't going to take any action to stop it from happening in the future. So they don't flag on fire? Austrian unrest, eh? Well, in all honesty, at this point, only Saxony, uh, Saxony and uh, Austria are the ones that have the most upset. And I was going to spend 50 political power, to, or 45 political power anyways, or reduce it. Because we did do one of these things for the economic recovery. One of these things that gave us actually some more political power, like 100 more political power, which is really nice. Um... Because literally everything else is like 20, so... We're going to spend 50 for that. And then that's 15. And we need Saxony to be lowered as well. When removed, Saxony's unrest will be reduced by 10, which would be very nice. Which would be nice when 15 days we'll have that, so we can do for the first time truly united. Germany was not united with a pen and olive branch, but with a sword. It was the Austrians who united this great nation, not the Bavarians, Hessians, Bandenburgers, or Saxons. And though we are all Germans, the time for division between the German nation must come to an end. The position of Frankfurt as the capital is chosen as a way to appease liberals and regionalists and present all German states as equal in power. That time must end now. Germany would be nothing without Austria, without the brave Austrian soldiers and a Kaiser who hails from a millennium of Habsburg rule. It's time to restore the rightful home of Germany away from the Frankfurt, that rotten den of liberals, unionists, and Protestants. The capital shall be moved back to Vienna with the imperial government back home with the Catholic people and our beloved Kaiser Franz. I've already done this one too. Um, said the Great War had a severe effect on the education research section of our country, as many young teachers, scientists, and geniuses were sent into battle and never returned, thus causing a minor case of brain drain. It's important to reverse the effects of this brain drain by lowering education costs and expanding the colleges and subjects of the most prominent in Germany, the Heidelberg University. And up next, let's go with supporting the electronics industry. Well, how about we grab... Yeah, why not? Innovation is eternal, just like a great nation. We must continuously develop it and make staggering progress in all sectors of life. But in this case, in the electronic sector. If we lack behind in any way, we might lose wars, which we cannot let happen. So we must be the barrel rolling down the side of the hill and always strive for progress. Wallonia seeks support. The French demand for the annexation of Wallonia has caused shockwaves throughout Europe. It seems that the French stare back to their old expansionist ways once more. The Walloons are requested that we honor our standing alliance with them and formally declare war in France over their aggression against the Walloon state. Though many might consider going to war a matter of honor, some of the government are hoping that allowing the French this concession might satiate their desire for further expansion. How should we respond? We are fortunately going to help them at this time, which I think is a gigantic mistake, even though we lost some political power, but we can still do this one as we're still finishing up supporting the electronics industry. Large fires in Karlsruhe. Although a mostly disregarded region when looking at Germany, Bohemia and bordering Moravia are vital to the German economy. And in the region of Bohemia, there's a city called Karlsruhe. A report has recently been brought to the attention of the national government, talking about how much a month ago there was a fire in the city. A fire which decimated the industrial capabilities of the city. The city and citizens are now asking for aid from the government to repair the damage and get their lives back to normal. How the fire was started is still unclear, but many people assume it was because of the rather lacking budget for the fire safety program. The national government is just still discussing the matter. Honestly, with Bavaria here, it's a 20. I don't want to risk it, so... Rebelled and compensate them all. Prussian nationalists march in a Kustrin. Troopers can be heard loud and wide throughout the town of Kustrin, footsteps approaching the town center. A man shouts, Preussen and Oberales, immediately after the whole group of them men join in and shout the same thing together. They march all day and long, shouting their ideals of town folk. Police don't try to stop them as they're ordered to stand down by the commander. They march late into the night, causing many sleepless nights until 1 a.m. it stops. The town quiets down till morning when people are awakened by trumpets once more, but this time not to march, but because their leader is meeting the mayor. He says he wants the town of Kustrin to unite with the neighboring country willingly. The mayor does not respond immediately, and he says he needs to discuss it first. Well, I mean, at this point, we've just finished up the focus. Uh, for the first time, the truly united, because now we're the Reich. The German Reich. And last point, VPs from Frankfurt to Vienna. More stability. All in increased by 10. But an eager for war. Germany, do you not hear the armies on the march and around us? Enemies of the German people take up arms and prepare to invade our nation with their hideous instruments of war. They raise armies of millions, ready to crush the German people once and for all. Yet they underestimate the martial prowess of the German people. They forget how we trounced them in the Great War and spit an ocean of blood for our survival. They underestimate our resolve and our newfound unity against any threats from domestic traitors and foreign invaders alike. Germany is united and strong with the blessing of God, with the support of our Kaiser and the readiness of our near 75 million Germans. We have made ready for war. Let them come into our lands and see what awaits them. It'll be us that march into Paris and Moscow before they ever get a taste of victory. Hopefully. And, of course, we can still do more colony stuff. Um, the Trambacoa Expedition, which we'll probably want to do as well. We still want to definitely 
focus more on our industry here, which would be super, super important. And the central pillar of Europe, remove continuing recovery, which would be good to do. You know, all this stuff is still quite good to do. Oh, yeah. Quite good to do as well. More arm sectors would be nice, but we'll be okay. Victory in Europe. Well, we're going to be headed to war very, 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 very soon, but we should probably embrace the war of attrition. Those who hold on to the breath longer will be able to swim for longer periods of time. Those with quick reflex can catch a book falling from the table. Those who can move quickly can dodge bullets. If we simply hold out longer than enemies, victory will be assured. Also, I'm not sure if this really matters anymore. I mean, does it does it really matter? I mean, extra territorial div dividends, red traders, traditional values, uh, beginnings of recovery. The German sentry looks very nice. We don't get any extra defense. We get more attack, though. Production efficiency. So what happens if we just do this? We get more unrest, but we do get some more political power. Jacobins in Vienna rated a suicide bomb. The Jacobin clique in Vienna was always well known. Not for its popularity or numbers, but for its extremism. The Jacobins in Vienna regularly conducted assassinations, car bombings, or other wicked things to pursue their goals. Despite their method, they attracted, they attracted quite a sizable amount of followers. The people always feared a possible confrontation between them and the state due to potential of its destruction. But the day had to come to put down those maniacs. After identifying their base of operations and members, the Secret Service and military police planned for weeks to take them down. When the night finally came, the plan was set in motion. Razor maidens climbed through the windows. A combat to the gates sneaked through the can canalization into the basement, and snipers were on every corner of the city. Everything was went according to plan. The units acted swiftly and mercilessly and took out the Jacobins completely by surprise. But it was not enough to overcome the fanaticism. One member escaped the battle for a few seconds, ran into a special room, pressed a handle, and the Jacobins are truly not human. Uh, a little more unrest, but I'm not sure what we're supposed to do about the unrest now that we did that. I did click on one of these five to do this, so now we're only at what? Uh, the Red Traders, still not good for us, but definitely a lot better. But we do have some comms to go through as well. Such as, please do this model with Imperial Federation and conquer all you can. Hail Edward VIII, hail Britannia. Someone else says, Franz, my boy, yes please. Uh, someone else says, uh, may the man with the funny mustache rest in peace, that we saw in the last video. Some guy named Adolf Schmittler? Hmm. And someone also, someone also asks, does Texas and America have a unique focus tree? Well, currently they do not. The only ones with a unique focus tree at the time of this recording. Hello, who is this? New New Virginia? What? What? New Virginia? What the heck is that? And Northwest Territories? Eh. British people. Um, only the UK, Germany, and France have unique focus trees currently at the time of this recording. So. Uh, but this mod is going to get more and more updated as time goes on as well. So, um, someone else says, they would love it if I would play another country in this mod. And someone else says, Britain has a lot of fun in this mod, to be honest. Someone else says, how many layers of alt history are you on? Famous socialist Otto von Bismarck. Very cool. Uh, so, someone also asks, wait, why does this timeline have Automex? Because it can. Someone else says, so basically the UK wins the American Revolution and also steampunk, because why not? Or more like diesel punk, so, someone else says. And someone else says, this is the best timeline, as we are, of course, still finishing up eager for war. Well, of course, still embrace the war of attrition. We have Von Rundschutz's superior firepower versus Von Mackensen's trench doctrine, if we don't remember, because I don't remember, but I kind of do remember. Also, we're trying to help out our poverty and military reforms, and eventually economic health as well. Um, officers, we are going probably going to go down with that there superior firepower, if I remember correctly, I think. It's now 1936, and, and Yugoslavia is really huge. Uh, but at the same time, I did do the one that let us do the one with Hungary, but we're going to do Ultimatum Yugoslavia, so if you don't worry about this, please go right ahead. It's highly likely they'll accept that the ultimatum, so invasion plans of the Slavic nation should be drafted up in preparation. We got 20 days, and this has to be done before June, but air flood toxins leak into the air. Accidents this afternoon at the air flood toxin facility, located near the airport and west of the city center. After a mishap in the communication, a tank filled with toxins which was being moved for train transport has hit a beam. A hole appeared and as out of the gas came pouring. Luckily, none of the employees have been hurt by the gas. It is mandatory to wear a face mask inside the face mask at all times. Huh. However, the efforts to fix the leak has not yet been successful, but the manager of the facility assures everyone that it will be fixed within a few days. And then no measures have to be taken in terms of protection by the population of EFA. The local government does not agree with the no protection policy, but do hope it can be fixed soon. They propose that the population should wear face masks when being outside to make sure everyone will be fine. They have also said that face masks will be handed out by them, as not everyone can afford them. For now, however, the only measures that we have been taking is that they have temporarily closed the airport and banned cars, traffic, and people from entering designated areas around the facility. And they'll continue to do this until they know for certain the gas is no longer a threat. Saxony? 25? I guess we'll do that. I mean, I'm not sure what the point of this is. Um, let's get below 50% in order to pass centralization reforms. Uh, these reforms will prevent further unrest and at least in that regard stabilize one aspect of German politics. So does that go away once we do all this? Because we have two days left, and this is all the centralization we can do, right? The Aru Islands. Our oil lifeline. There goes those guys. 
Well, that's great. This should reduce, remove this, right? No? I don't understand. I know we'll have war soon-ish, but still. Um, victory in Europe. When is war supposed to start? I feel like it's going to start soon. So let's go with develop the domestic arms industry. Although the German army is quite a formidable enemy during battle, it's important that the army be well equipped and kept up to date with the new advancements in technology and war tactics. Thus, by expanding the arms industry somewhat, we gain a good advantage when it comes to those matters. The Empire of Yugoslavia rejects our demands. Seems like the Empire of Yugoslavia is not able to accept any basic demands. The German government has given approval to the army to carry out its operation, Operation Schlangenbiss, will be carried out and aimed to occupy the Slavic lands and restore the Croatian and Bulgarian nations across the border. Oh, we can go to war immediately. Cool. Uh, hopefully no one else joins the war, because if not, then we completely abandon our borders with the French, so... Uh, they do go to war with us. That would be very bad for us. Quite bad, actually. Quite, quite, quite very bad, actually. Of course, then again, we're out of fuel, so we should probably stop training all our ships. Because I wanted a lot of naval XP, but... Uh, the motorized and tanks... Eh, I need to spot a fuel or two. I mean, the infantry will do okay. So, and I did ask you guys yesterday... But or at least in the last video, whether we should use quadrupods, tripods, or some other type of pods. And uh, you guys recommended overall, use quad pods. So, we're developing them. That took a while. I'm, I'm not sure how to use them. I mean, if you know how to use these things, please let me know. Because it's, these look really, really cool. Like, uh, mobile groups. Like, they have combat amalgamates, which sound awesome. I don't know how to use these at all. Let me know what type of division template you guys think I should use. Please let me know in the comments below. Because I do want to use quadrupod automates. It just slows down a little bit. Not by much at all, like 2.7 kilometers. But you get a lot more soft attack, good amount of a great amount of breakthrough, good amount of defense, much more fuel capacity. Suppression is not bad. Armor is good. Piercing is good. So let me know. I'll make. I'll probably make, turn into like some sort of like uh, other type of division. Uh, yeah, we definitely want this one. And then uh, improved gas defense. Ooh, artillery production costs. Let's go. Von Rundstedt's superior firepower. Good Von Rundstedt is a brilliant army commander and strategist. His doctrine is a superior firepower one, and argues which of his soldiers well equipped, well informed, and well supported. Then he and his fellow soldiers will be sure to secure victory for the nation. This doctrine he relies heavily on good air support. We don't have a really good air support right now, I'll be honest. No fuel. Well, we could probably import some more fuel for now. We're still building up quite a few arms, which, of course, would be absolutely necessary for the coming uh, storm, as some might say. Well, of course, we'll see what happens. <clears throat> Dubrovnik? They head down here. 36. Well, we don't get any penalty for reaching this stuff in 1939, but okay. Hey, look at that. Nice. Completely a destroyed. 159,000. Belgrade. Well, head on all the way down there. Also, oh yeah, Serbia was defeated in the Balkan Wars with Romania. Helped rebuild the Polish military. Polish military solidified the Polish German alliance. Well, not what you're going to really do about that for now. Not bad. How's the airspeed? You already doing? Looking pretty good. 700 of our planes versus 70 of theirs. In terms of fighters, at the very least, which is very awesome. Well, they're looking very bloodied. Which is good. They'll have nowhere to run, though. Seven divisions, eh? The very weak seven divisions. Then again, our guys aren't doing that great either. Well, they all died to the last man. Armor train's nice. Hounds, huh? Hounds. More organization recovery rate? That's very good to get. I, I really don't know what the AI is going to do here. So I'm going to assume that we're going to need anti-tank on everything, which I already do, so, which is great. So... Oh! Okay, so we don't get the peace conference. So we defeated the Kingdom of Greater Serbia in a war. What happened here? And community, community key. So, who do we have now? Eugene. We've got Doro Pukar. But I know I'm saying the right name wrong. Uh, Montenegro, Serbs, the Greater Kingdom of Greater Serbia, Danilio. Albania got a little thicker. We got a longer Bulgaria boy. All right, not bad. Kingdom of Greater Serbia. I don't know if that's so great anymore. Do we not get them as a puppet? That's kind of a mistake, I'd say. Why would we not establish them as puppets? That's something I really do not understand right now. But then again, who am I? At least we won the war. We got more army XP. We feel good about winning. 
It's always good to feel to win, right? It's always good to win. Armor trains, yeah, good. Pop, nice. Excavation dose. Uh, get some more of that too. That'd be good. Um, get more fuel. Let's go and start training these guys again. Just keep spending all that fuel that we have right now. That'd be good. More arms factories, good, 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 good. More synthetic refineries, please. That'd be very nice. And after this one, like we did this one, oh, streamline artillery production too. Artillery is just as old as modern war is. Many talented generals during, before, and after the Great War were able to use artillery very effectively. One of those generals is von Rundstedt, who was implementing a policy that will streamline the production of artillery. So using their uh, so their use in battle will be greater and thus more effective. And after this, there's really not much we can do here, which does kind of suck. I'm not sure what else we're supposed to do. I'm not sure there's supposed to be like autonomy is supposed to go down. I do want to do the culture conf. Managing domestic affairs don't really care about that too much, do I? Do we? Um, some of the civilian industry is not bad. Don't have to do that though. I do want to target the Alsace National Alliance, Czech Legion, Jacobins, Saxon Jacobins, Rhineland Jacobins. But reopen the Vienna Stock Exchange. That'd be pretty good to do. Uh, we have to do all these anyways. Unsold crops as well as Berlin Industries. Expand the coal and steel extraction. Germany is a vital resource basin of the European continent, and we wish to keep this position by opening many new mines and financing many projects to find more resources in our vast lands. These resources give us much more power than international diplomacy, so it's important we never stop extracting them because of their enormous importance in Germany. Pretty, uh, pretty good thing. Pretty darn good thing. Um, we could use more arms factories to truly industrializing the aircraft industry. Since the German Air Force is not much to speak of, it's important to rapidly expand the sector to rival our continental rivals in any future wars. The sector is quite new and overlooked during the Great War and decades following it, but it's gaining new momentum, so it's important we join in and develop a rival Air Force. Hey, we actually have six divisions here. Look at that. I did just restart the game, of course, as well. Because right now, we should be blazing through the speed, which is awesome. Or very, very good. 66 PP, not much, but eh, it's not bad. It can't really do much there. This still is here, but I'm kind of going to ignore that for now. Good to keep doing this for further economic recovery, but I want to get rid of some Jacobins. Like, Jacobins are not cool. I'll probably target the Rhineland Jacobins first. But after this one. Popping young blood in the workforce. Lately, it's been assumed as if the younger population is more lazy and laid back than the previous generations. Mostly due to there not being much uh, war in the homeland, since we do not enjoy war, but we do want our young ones to grow up to be strong and smart. New programs have been growing in which there will be a mandatory internship for kids who are 16 to 20 years old. In this internship, they'll work in a nearby factory for three days a week and for one school year so they can experience what working really is like. Get them kids and the, get them a job. Get them jobs, son. Yeah, we'll talk about the Rhinelands. Jacobins. The Jacobins in the Rhineland need to go. And honestly, die in a hole. No one likes a good ja Jacobin. No one. No, nah, except for one or two people. But, yeah, whatever. Yeah, it looks like we're not going to be doing very well here. Also, I did increase these guys to 27 combat, so we're missing a crap ton of artillery now. Um, yeah, hopefully. He says. Oh, they fortify. It seems like someone leaked our information that we were going to raid. Oh! Uh, the Jacobin Center in the Rhineland, Rhineland, and they've been fortifying themselves in the bases. They possess dozens of rifles and several machine guns, including grenades. Any confrontation with them will be bloody. Because of this fact, some recommended dropping bombs on the bases to limit our own casualties, and show them that they cannot even compare to our power. Others are supposed to oppose this idea, as this will cause unwanted damage and create unrest in the Rhineland. Bomb them. Bomb them first. Bomb, 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 bomb. Jacobin is defeated, several hostages destroyed. The Jacobins have been cleared out to bits. No one expected this course of action. The bombs hit their bases in the morning while most were sleeping. A total of 36 bombs were dropped. Most of them hit their intended targets, although one hit a civilian building and another a farm killing a cow. The Jacobins of the Rhineland have surrendered and laid down their arms. Well, it's a great success. There's outrage about a brutal handling of the situation. They did this to themselves. What do you want us to say? That we wanted to bomb civilians? <laughs> Not yet. Give us time, though. Yes. Remilitarize the Rhineland. In 1926, the ban went into effect. Oh, look at this. In the Rhineland and provinces, which prevent the building of more arms factories in the area. This ban was put in place by the then government. <laughs> Excuse me. But since there is now a new government, they've decided to lift this ban, thus allowing the construction of new arms factories in the area, which we will take immediate advantage of, which is only an appropriate response. Mm, 37? Do we get more coordination, right? Uh, yeah, coordination increases the amount of damage dealt to the primary target in combat. Other damage is spread over the other targets. Cool. Um, civilian factories? You know what? Let's keep working on civilians. After this, then we'll start tar targeting the Saxon Jacobins. Oh, we're out of manpower now. That's not ideal. Okay. Well, probably go to limited conscription. It's only 1% more, but 1% more is not bad. 
How are we doing with trade, though? We are... We got a lot of steel. That's nice. Load us by one. Uh, minus two, minus one's not bad. Still doing quite well over there. As we're trading up all of our ships, which is not bad, actually, too. Uh, still full. Well. Alright, then. Now we're losing him. It's alright, because we're still building up some more synthetic refineries. Keep building up some more arms industries, too. 50. Yeah, I'll build up unsold crops eventually. Uh, mechanization of agriculture. The needs of the people increase every day, which also means filling their bellies. Thus, uh, it is thus important that we increase our output of our agricultural sector. With the new mechanization of the farmers' work tools, we believe the well created program in which the farmers of Germany can borrow machinery from the state until they can pay for it and can increase our efficiency and output greatly to meet the ever growing demands of the people. We need to make this program as lucrative as possible by making sure there is little to no drawbacks of making use of the program for farmers. Yes, please. Yeah, but like I said, we gotta increase our that here first. Mixed market capitalism, German efficiency, German constitutionalism. We are on partial mobilization, and we'd like to go to war economy, but we can't quite go there yet, which is fine. Um, what else do we have? Oh, technical teams. Oh, air army XP. Yeah, James Janssel would not be bad. We did grab a uh, Wilhelm Zena from our daily army XP gain. Help oh, infantry attack and defense. Which will be alright. Grab some more fuel because you can. Which would be nice. I really don't know if we're doing things right here. And I'm kind of kind of like weirded out that there's not been any real war for us. I kind of want some sort of war, please. I'm kind of expecting war. Yeah, we need way more for that. Alright. And then construct the Franz Josef Railway. Which would be great. Great, 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 great. Go ahead of time, grab some of that, improve on our anti-tank, because my gosh, we're going to need a lot of piercing power. Oh, the territories of Germany to the southeast and south have been for a time been regarded as the territories and thus as disregarded. But now that they are an integral part of the nation, it's necessary to give it the attention it deserves by investing in the area. Not just the east trial will satisfy the population, but also make sure our supply on our eastern flank is more secure. And I should name it after Great Emperor Franz Josef. Yes. Sport equipment, um... Recon, logistics... Maybe logistics, maybe? I don't know. At least we get 1.08 every single day. What is this? Limited women's rights. 33%. 11 divisions, not bad. Really not bad at all. 12 divisions against Prussia. Yeah. Well, as long as it's just this border we defend against the Russians, that'd be okay. I still don't understand why we don't get these guys as puppets. I really don't understand. They should really be our puppets. Um, is there anything else supposed to happen here? Like, seriously, bro. Hugenberg, Vandenbroek, actually, Church of Stability, Violent Demagogue, Franz Goethe, sucks. Anyone else would be better. Anyone literally else would be better. Experts in heavy machinery production? Ooh. Armageddon program, armor, let's do this one. Synthetic compounds research. Synthetic compounds are all the hype these days. They are natural products produced somewhere where they usually aren't produced, as they are basically a chemical reaction instead of humans. Thus, we don't have to wait for the natural process to occur in saving time and money, even increasing our export capabilities. Factories, not enough. Never enough, of course. Uh, oh, my goodness. We need way more arms factories. Armor trains, not bad. Oh, wow. Look at that manpower. So, when do we go to war? That's a very good question. Uh, increase it by two. Oh, wait. They cancel non-aggression pact. Uh, German... Okay. Wow. Wow. All right. Hmm. France declares the claim of the Dutch. Oh, well, here we go. Recent reports coming from infantry to assets within the French government seem to point towards ambitions of claiming the entirety of Dietzland. This has been further substantiated by the Dutch reports of increased mobilization of French soldiers at the borders. Though Dietzland contains many natural root defenses, their armed forces are small and cannot help to survive a survive conflict with the rebel French army. Though we may shudder the thaw, with the French already having taken Valonia, the seizure of Dietzland would open up a dangerous flank on our borders and would be ex extremely detrimental in any future conflict with the French, of course. Certain elements in our high command believe we must answer this battle in act of war aggression with war, but our diplomats believe that we could open a compromise, perhaps offering them partial concessions in exchange for dropping any further claims in the region. Or, of course, we could just abandon Dietzland entirely. Would we be able to stop them? I want to say no. Compromise? Holland is of no concern. 
I don't know. Well, let's see what happens. If it goes poorly for us, then it goes poorly for us. They seem relatively strong. Let's go home. And if this goes poorly, well then... Oh, well. Ooh, also, additionally, tactical bomber wings. We'll probably lose these guys in the air. Um, anyone else here? Mm -hmm. Alright, Dutch crosses Escus. War in our time. And they immediately start attacking us. War in Europe. Onwards to victory. Alright. We got some more of that, which is good. Do our divisions currently have anti air? They do, which is good. So we should probably invest in that a little bit more. Hopefully we can hold the line. I'm glad we can mobilize a little bit more, too. The Second Great War. With this principle, you may live to see man-made horrors beyond your comprehension. Oh, crap. French forces... Oh! Well, that's not good, too. It has begun. We have received several reports that the French troops have crossed border checkpoints to start fighting local forces. This is a declaration of war. Furthermore, border guards in the east detail that several Russian troop movements towards the border have just been spotted. As likely to be assumed that Russia will truly join France as an ally in this war, we can only pray that this war will not be as catastrophic as the last one. Mobilize the army. So far, we're doing well against them. I'm assuming that they're probably going to be launching quite a few attacks on us soon. And they're going to try to navally invade us as well, so... We're going to have, like, no fuel here. Um... Oh, they cleared one of the autumn... Alright. That's quite peculiar, but okay. Alright, so they've lost 31,000. 31 against us. Let's go in. Oh. Okay. The Turkey revolts. Alright, so they want to come in too. Can you guys do anything here, maybe? Well, here comes the Second World War. We're going to be running out of fuel very quickly. The Imperial Powers. With France now threatening the stability of Europe forever, and our nation's mere existence under the threat of the question of whether we should join Britain and stop in the Franco-Russian alliance is no longer a question of if, but when. For the survival of Germany, we must reach out to our old allies in London and begin a grand crusade against the Pact of Revanchists, just like old times. Ah, uh, sure. Come on in, guys. See what we can do. They are going to town on us right now. Hey, Imperial Powers. Oh, Italy's here, too. Okay, so now at least we have World War II. It took us like four years to get here, but that's all right. That's all right. Uh, how many minutes? 4,000. I don't want to call them in yet. The United Commonwealth, Ottoman Empire, Kingdom of Italy, which would be good for us as well. Holy Order of France, or Spain, I should really say. Well, I'm glad we put a lot of artillery in here. Right. Oh, oh, crap, that's not good. Okay, that's really not good then. They called him Prussia. I was not expecting Prussia. Uh, maybe not completely. Sort of ish. Just hold the line. We'll, we'll slowly go through all these. Repu Republic of Japan. Okay. All right. We can. Can you do anything here? You might be able to. Maybe. Posen would be nice this time of year. Oh crap! That's not good. We lost three subs. It's very not good. Fighters. Ooh, what are these fighters? Send them over there too. The French are just going to try to go bushwhack us as hard as they possibly can. Oh yeah, that'd be nice. Ooh, what do we have over here? Cassia. Yeah. I love the close air support. All right, well we're at war now. Um, synthetic resources. They're all the hype these days. Well, we probably want pinpoint targeting. Numbers may be important when it comes to artillery, but accuracy is arguably even more important. Because you might have the bigger gun, but you can't hit your targets, then you're useless. So von Rundstedt is setting up his own training program for all artillery officers on how to effectively hit their targets and deal a lot of damage. Sounds pretty good to me. Sounds pretty darn good to me. Better radar? Nice. Uh, yeah. Uh, so are you here? Moselland? Yeah, go with the Moselland for now so we can improve that. Slowly improve everything here on the front lines. Because we're not attacking here. Just we're, There's no way we're going to attack. We're here to push back these Prussians and maybe reunite all of Germany with us as well. They're trying to naval invade us, aren't they? Early sub holes kind of suck, man. I'm not going to lie, they really do suck. Reinhard Heydrich, please win every single battle you are ever part of. Oh, friendship are supposed to. I mean, they technically already were at war with Republic of Tejas. Can we import anything from anybody that won't hurt us? Oh, 
Oh, yeah, that's good. Uh, they join him, which, I mean, technically already war with them, so that's not really a big surprise. Not like no, we're going to run out of fuel. League of Nations. Oh, look at this. But the world once again caught up in a great war. Britain has proposed the creation of a League of Nations to direct the war effort. This group, founded principally by Britain and Germany, would function as a means to prevent wars in the future and resolve international crises without conflict. Helping to found this organization would give us a critical advantage over our enemies, as well as grant us important powers after the war. An excellent initiative. More stability, max volunteer divisions, even more political power. Oh, the London Committee proposal. Whoa. It's in these bleak hours we must stand united and ready, spoke the British Minister of Foreign Policy, or Foreign Affairs, trying to appeal to our nation today. Already the situation in Europe had seemed quite desperate. France and Russia were already making quiet the maneuvers on German soil, and if they had their ways, so Britain would surely be next. Britain seems both desperate and sincere about the threat that the Franco-Russian alliance poses to get the globe, but the question is, would we be any better under the British? Excellent initiative. Good. Convoy sink. Yes. Yes, they should be sunk. Oh, at least we're out of our deaths instead of... Stop there. That's good. I mean, Empire is doing well. They're doing all right. And oh my gosh, this is disgusting. Dominion of Alteria. The Dutch have New Holland. Oh my goodness. There's us down there too. Well, it's definitely a war. Oh, thanks, Japan. Thanks for coming by our side. We're going to need way more fuel. Well, let them attack us again. See what they can do. Hopefully not very much. We're just lacking a bunch of artillery. And now we're out of fuel. Crap. Mm. It's really all they have. Grand Colombia, California Republic. Is there anyone in Europe that can give us fuel? Imperial Britain. London Proclamation. Cool. We could try these guys. I have a feeling I don't want to just use infantry for all these battles and stuff, so. But who am I? Britain intervenes against France. With Europe now at war against the French and Russian hordes, Britain has stated their intentions to assist us, with, assist us militarily. <clears throat> Already mothers are sending their goodbyes to their young sons as they get shipped off to fight in the front lines of what seems to be the Second Great War. Whilst the outcome of the war is still to be determined, we are eternally grateful that Britain has decided to help us in a plot against Paris and Moscow. We need to stop meeting like this. Right, everyone now is going to war. Okay. Uh, engineers are good. Maintenance companies will be good. 37, of course. Rocket artillery. Rubber, maybe? I don't know. We still have enemies here, too. Buy up excess crops. Let's do the Federation. Anything we can do here, maybe? Um, probably, actually. Hind with armor and stuff. Or we come over here, army organization. Oh, I guess we all get more offense. That's, which is not bad. We could probably just grab Mr. Offense, dude. Oh, economic health improved. Thanks to our current economic policies, we've seen an improvement in our national GDP. Because of this, current health and stability of our economy has greatly improved. Our current economic health will improve. Economic health. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. Poverty. Not bad. Sunk convoy. Good. Alright, so at this point, there's not much else we can do. We got our land back. We got, actually took some land from them, too, which is great. Oh, we lost, ooh, they lost some four subs. That's nice. They're slowly taking out each them, which is bad, 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 bad. Oh, not good. Can you guys... Would you be able to do anything here, maybe? Obviously, we're out of artillery, but... You never know. You never really know, do you? Just put our lines lo long enough, and they might start attacking us like crazy. Oh, they're still fighting for Gibraltar, though. Watch out, Swaziland's here to help us. Watch her out.
How's Italy doing? Pinpoint targeting would be very good for us. Uh, land auction, yeah, that'd be pretty good to do. Improved gas defenses. Great wars are nothing but to prove that the best defense against an army is not having a heavy wall, a well-equipped army, or a field of mines, but rather the air itself ruled as the best defense. Both sides waiting for the wind to go the right way and kill their opponent with gas. Both General von Mackens and von Rundstedt wish to use them extensively in any upcoming European war and thus start a new program research, or researching to perfect the old formulas. Oh, it's very stagnant right now. Which is fine with us. Uh, what's 75 now? More offensive, more army XP as well, which is very good. Uh, redefine trench warfare. As we all agree that the Great War is a new war, nothing before was like it, and hopefully nothing like it will follow. Although many lessons we learned from it are many ways of war or pain, and one of them was that the trench warfare absolutely sucked. Thus, the Jones once again teamed up to redefine an old tactic of war by remaking the vital way trenches worked in the last war. Let's not counter eggs too early. The Manchester Conference. Okay, I'll take that 150 political power. Why not? Ooh, we get some technical teams. Ooh! You get more defense. Infantry equipment. Ooh, re less research speed, but production costs and supply consumption goes down. Look at all the stuff we have here. Aji Fobin. That's kind of unique. Armor would be very nice. Capital ship. I want to keep doing the, the economy stuff, so... You know what? This helps us on core defense territory because we still have uh, Jacobins, don't we? Artillery defense. Yeah, red traders. We actually uh, lose 5% of division defense core territory, which is not good. And get more population, too, if we uh, do get rid of the red traders. But we do this. Buy up excess crops. You know what? Let's do that first. And get rid of the Saxon Jacobins. Balance it out. We are a balanced nation here of reactionaries. Ooh. You know, they stop attacking us so much. Maybe we should go on the offense. Maybe we should. Maybe we should. We'll see. I mean, they were already technically at war with us. Not sure how that really changes anything there. Should we do anything if you moved? Oh no, 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 no! You want to go here? Like that. Fighting over the land river, clearing the Jacobins from Saxony. The day came to clear out the droughts of Saxony. Throughout the last years, several Jacobin organizations formed in Saxony. Their active liberation consisted of bribery, blackmailing, and petty violence. They've been a stain on the kingdom of Saxony, who are losing more and more support over time. Our troops, including the personal guard of the Saxon king, finally put down an end to their misery. The several Jacobin groups were disorganized and uncoordinated and could not prove, ah, prove a unified response to attack. Saxony is now free of Jacobins. A job well done. We have Hawaii helping us out. Wow. That is weird. Do we need to do anything there? Maybe. They kind of stopped attacking us, which is kind of disappointing. Do they have forts here? No, but it's mountains. Um, here? No. Their defenses are very, very strong, so you got to wait for them to attack us like crazy. Lots would be very nice. Nice. Anti-air. Upgrades, good. Research. Even better anti-air. Nice. Still working on this tile? Good. And eh, we're defending it across around, around a river? Good, good, good. Good old Panzer Expert. Nothing more, nothing less. Well, they've definitely calmed down. We've lost about how many guys? 10,000? Oh, wow, 56,000? Mostly to the French. We've killed off a lot of the Frenchies already. Russian wise, we've killed 63,000 of them. Not bad. Improve gas defense. We define trench warfare. That'll be quite decent as well. And then never another Paris. Requires all the following. Holy crap. That's a lot. Um, well, doing all this stuff doesn't really mean too much to me right now. Um, synthetic research compounds? Synthetic compounds are all the hype these days. They're natural products produced somewhere where they aren't usually produced. That was basically a chemical reaction started by humans. Thus, we don't have to wait for the natural process to occur into saving time and money, and even increasing our export capabilities. That'd be pretty nice. I want more defensive positions here. Um, what if you guys did this? Can we beat him up like this, maybe? Congress Poland, not super strong. I'm a little disappointed that they're not going to be able to beat us up. They are shifting a lot of divisions around. We are out of subs, holy crap.
Literally said, see you later. Tackle the Chucky Legion. Oh, for their economic recovery, that'd be good to do. Yeah, let's do that one. Uh, we're doing civilian factories, arms factories, synthetic refiners would be good. Go to it for them. That'd be nice. No? Not baited to attacking us. Well, that's alright. Ooh, lost another settled socks. What if we did that? Can we do that? Maybe? Yes? No? Maybe so? Circle and destroy? Oh, wow. They're really... Holy crap. That's not good. Oh, finally get some superior firepower. Finally. All right, so if that's the case, I'm going to actually do this. As much as I wanted to come down there... Oh, they're almost there, though. There you go. Up and out. After that, we'll send these guys down south. Nice. I mean, way more arty still. Go up by five for now. Um, armor trains go to three. Go to a lot more of those guys. Nice. Um, synthetic compounds. Very good. And daily army XP. Armor, yeah, might as well go with armor. And the German rubber, uh, the greatest rubber. With the recent advancements in the field of mobile warfare, it's imperative or important that our troops are up to date and well equipped for this type of warfare. And we well equipped in the sector, you need lots of rubber and a steady steam stream of it to keep up to the national and maybe even international demand. This program will greatly increase the output of our rubber factories. Let's kill these three divisions off if you can. And then we'll really. We can our defenses here. Good job, guys. So now you're gonna do this. You guys are gonna be holding the line for now, as you guys are gonna race to the south to help out the Italians. Do the best you can. Ooh, not idea, but we'll do the best we can. Trade. Oh, that's good. Can you guys go here? Mm, probably not. I just want you to hold the line. Which may actually encourage these guys to attack us as well. So these guys have not been advancing at all on this line over here, which is good to see, of course. But, now what? Cancel the I thought they were going to go to war with us. I'm like, oh my goodness, no. Please, no. Oh, hello! Whoa! Whoa! Great Britain! Imperial Britain! You have done a real gamer move. I did not even realize you were going to invade Spain like this. But Portugal's helping us too. Oh, wow. Whoa. Well, they're, they've stopped advancing here. If that's the case. Maybe we can use these soldiers a little bit more effectively here. So maybe we'll go like a bing bong, uh, a bing a dong. Just pushing into them a little bit more. Oh, please don't start attacking you ding dongs. Like, as much as I love this, then it's not really worth it. Oh, crap. Well, we're down to a sub. Not sure how much fuel cell is really going to be worth it, but you know, whatever. Rubber processing. You know what? Well, screw it, why not? Trade? Good. Can you make it through there? Anything here? Panzer tactics, suppressive barrage. We'll probably wait for that. Nice. Breakthrough, breakthrough. Come on. I know it's over river and it sucks. Anti air equipment of 1940. Oh, okay then. Nice job, guys. Just hold the best you can there. Because right now, we're going to push this way. I want to take out Prussia first. That's my main goal. Prussia first. Actually, we got enough here, so we can do that. Maybe we'll go about to one. Infantry. Still not attacking us, which is fine, whatever. Hey, some fighter stores? Nice. Actually, they're not even moving up here. What's wrong with them? Well, I mean, if that's the case, we can attack here, maybe, and send two divisions there, maybe? Maybe not? Maybe, yeah? Okay.
Uh, well, I guess I got their divisions out of there. That's probably smarter than to do that. And Pilbrin is doing really well. Holy crap. Well, if that's the case, uh, we're going to go here to here to here to here to Königsberg, maybe. I want a further economic recovery next. Well, we have no fuel. What else is new? And we'll do that. But I think this episode's gone on for long enough. We'll do that, and maybe our own British walker development. The British have shown great interest in technological advancement in the last decade, making significant progress. They have proved themselves as true innovators. As we close, as we as a close ally have wished to vitalize on their significant know-how by investing into our adaptations of the technology. In this case, in the mighty fine walkers, which will prove a good support during future wars in the Armageddon program. Oh, okay. But hey, if you enjoyed the video so far, or this campaign too, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. As well to fight a war on two fronts. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.